The rules have changed for disc jockeys across broadcasting platforms regarding the type of music they are allowed to play. The Broadcasting Commission has banned all songs promoting illegal activities with immediate effect. Now our reporter Codian Barrett sought responses from some players in the industry. According to the Broadcasting Commission, any audio or video recording which promotes scamming, illegal use of drugs, illegal use of guns, jungle justice, or any form of illegal or criminal activity is strictly prohibited. This also applies to edited songs and samples. For some broadcasters, the move is seen as a positive step towards quelling violence. We really have to be more careful, especially living in a society with rampant crime and criminality that has a genuine problem that seems to be beyond our scope or certainly our immediate scope to, to address, then it really has to be all hands on board. I don't think they feel that we are irresponsible, but I think it's just a way to reinforce to us that you have a responsibility to also shape this society and if this is what's going to it's going to take them ready to suffer do it so is it a slap in the face for dancehall music for decades there have been debates about the genre and its influence in a recent don anderson poll 70 percent of jamaicans said they believed dancehall music influences criminal behavior a sentiment shared by the executive director of the commission cordell green this is not about protest this is not about explanation this is about glorification glorification of criminality cannot be unlicensed platforms no matter how syrupy the rhythms are no matter how cleverly the Lyrics have been put together. At least one music producer says it's long overdue. However, he argues that the aim of the commission to curb violence through music is only scraping the surface. So, so far, I'm seeing it now. It's not going to be um, as, as a bit of a threat to, you know, the music in general. Because, you know, most people nowadays get the music source from, you know, YouTube. That's one of our biggest source right now and Spotify, um, Audimac, mixtapes, dances and stuff, and stuff, so. By the way, it's not going to really be, you know, effective. But according to Mr. Green, it's not about control or stifling creativity. Rather, it's about gatekeepers being responsible. What this is signaling is that radio announcers and people who hold broadcasting licenses they have obligations under those licenses. They have obligations under the television and sound broadcasting regulations. <clears throat> those have been violated in some instances in egregious ways. And when that happens, the regulator steps in unapologetically. Cody and Barrett, TVJ News. All right, let me let me take it in. Uh, first of all, Jamaica, uh, shout out to you guys for putting this type of um, put this on here. Um, I think it's well needed, really, to, to shape a society and also uh, shape up the young, young generations of you know young boys and young girls. Uh, I know there's other countries, especially in the Middle East. You know, they 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 like that too. They they sort of start sort of that thing, you know, in the country in the Middle East. But for America. I would like to see something like that happen. It don't have to happen in the government. It could be <clears> happening in the state or city, something like that. But is it going to happen in America? Hell no. Why? Because of capitalism. It's all about the money here. It's all about being entertainment here. And especially for our black community, it's like a it's like a bait that we use to, to get fast money in a way. Especially you know, in music, comedy, and especially in these YouTube streets. Um, I wish in our America and our society it wasn't so about you know capitalism and more about being um, family oriented and being um, kind of being more cons in the conservative role of helping our um, young generations of you know there's other ways you can do to make money other than you know uh, violence. Uh, 
illegal, illegal violence, you know, selling drugs, um, promoting it with music videos and all that and all that type of stuff. But uh, Kim, I hope in a, in a near future or in our, in our this generation, we can have something like that in an America that we can shape our uh, people of you know stops you know selling drugs and you know sex and all that type of stuff but do, but hold, do i see in america it's gonna happen no because of capitalism that's my take well yeah I, I'm, I'm agreeing with you 100 on the aspect of the um how the united states are going to um to go on the same way as jamaica going that's why i wanted to cover this story because when i started training online i was like wait a minute this is clear what i've been saying the whole time when we've been on live when I'm talking about how music really plays a part in our, especially when it comes to a certain community, which is the black community. This is why we have a player right now where artists getting killed, children getting killed, children getting bullied, the women are twerking, the women are twerking all over the place. It because we are easily influenced by music. Music right now is the most powerful thing on the earth. It has power to do, even to control the masses. That's why certain places like Jamaica, not even Jamaica, but even China, they don't allow certain music. And now Jamaica going to the conscious music is going to allow things to go more positive and then a positive light. And once, once pretty soon, you're going to see how the crime rate in Jamaica goes down because of the type of music they're going to be playing. But well, right here in, in the United States, we have a lot of trap. Like you said, Jordan, it's all about capitalism because we have a lot of trap music, a lot of gangster music, a lot of music that deal with drugs, sex, alcohol, you name it. So you can't get mad if the community is polluted because music plays a big part in it. That's my take on it. Um, I think I thought this was a beautiful, beautiful thing that Jamaica is doing. Um, and I think this is nothing new. Just like you say, China. When the last time you heard any hip hop artists perform in China? Good point. I have. They don't support that music, even on the take, even. The, TikTok is a Chinese company. They filter certain things out. So this is long overdue. And the thing about it is um, music is very powerful. The kids are very impressionable. So, But there's one thing I wanted to correct that in the video I think that they was wrong about. Dance hall does not influence violence. There's many, many artists who are dance hall with the exception of one. I don't know about the rest. Um... You know what I mean? You got people like Elephant Man. You got people like Sean Paul, Mavado, Bujubantan, Coffee. A lot of these ladies show. A lot of these people do dance hall music. They ain't never talk about pulling the blick out. Now, the new Jamaican artists that are coming out who are young, they doing some form of drill-type Jamaican music. Now, they're trying to follow the steps of Vibes Cartel, which I dubbed the father of Jamaican drill music. A lot of people say he was doing dance hall. I was not was listening to him. He was talking about killing some shit. Jeans and fitted in an all white tee. We did it uptown, uptown Gaza. So this is just you know what I mean. Uh, we have some form where we ban certain dudes here in New York City. A lot of the drill rappers over there can't perform at Summer Jam. Um, but like you say, it's not enough. I would hope that they ban all this stuff so we can have some type of control. So I want to just say two thumbs up to Jamaica for that one. Yeah, uh, most one definitely. More thing, one thing I want to say is um, one thing we need to do is, in our, especially in our community, and I see that they're doing it in Jamaica. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't we don't shame in our community no more, <laughs> and I think we need to bring bring shame back. I mean, there's there's benefits of of using the word shame, especially yes, yes. especially in your if you're in a, a good family circle, and there are some things that some families we don't allow, and if you do that, you know that needs to be shamed because that's a family legacy that's that should not be broken like that. So I Ooh. definitely shame and needs to be be bring back in our black community in a good way, not in a bad way, in a good way. That's my point. Um, and that's the reason why. You Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, I, can. I just got people coming to come on that. That is a profound statement because shame prevented a lot of dudes from following other people's footsteps. And that's what I wanted to say. 
And this is why you got to shame and hit that like button and make sure you subscribe. And make sure you hit the notification bell on the right-hand side because we go live each and every Sunday, 7.30 Eastern time. Thank you for tuning in, KF Culture Radio. And also, let us know what you think about the whole thing, what Jamaica doing. Do you think United States should go this route? Or do you think United States doing the best they can and just leave it in just the way it is? Let us know what you think on the comment. Thank you for tuning in to KF Culture Radio. We open out. Peace. Peace. Peace.